so tonight guys this video is about finding excuses for persons who does things to hurt us intentionally to me i find that very toxic because i mean if a person really cares about you or your feelings then they should not i'm just using a lace to pull up my hair you guys so just not filming on my just one pull up my hair for now yeah so i find that very toxic because we try to we have this intention of keeping people around in our lives who really and truly does not mean us any good who does not love us don't care about us don't care about our feelings don't care about how much they hurt us but yet still they're in our lives and the reason why some of them are in our lives is because for some reason it's convenient to them it's beneficial to them but for us i would not say the same i would say it's more draining stress bearing toxic and self damaging so you can't keep a person in your life like that as soon as you find out that, that that's the type of person the person is or that's the type of intention that that person has towards you then it doesn't care how handsome he is or how beautiful she is I, in this situation looks doesn't matter the satisfaction in bed it does not matter the money or whatever they have to give you it does not really it doesn't matter if you keep a person like that in your life you are opening up ways for destruction and sometimes we, we don't even notice that whenever we get away from that situation things can be so much better for us but, but the thing is we are afraid we are afraid of being lonely of being lonely we are afraid of having to start over we are afraid of letting go of a relationship because maybe you have history but let me tell you something so when it comes to history if you don't have good memory I, I don't want to say good memories when it comes to history if there is no way that person is changing you notice they name history that means they a long time young person i come a long time on that one from on a back and forth with this crap you see if you know, keep on a go through this the history don't matter it no matter how long you're there with the person for look here even if you think you're ugly somebody out there must think see you and say you're beautiful even when other people tell you say so you're ugly you see as long as you tell yourself so you're beautiful and you're worth more and you deserve more trust me it will happen you see your tongue it's a very powerful sword you see anything that you say in your mind and from your tongue you start to manifest that thing in your life whether it is good or bad you hear what i say whether it is good or bad so it simply means that if you manifest good things in your life if you think about it and you speak about it in your life then it will happen you understand and if you speak about and think about bad things in your life then bad things will happen you understand so what i am trying to say is stop speaking negative things over yourself if you say you're ugly you are going to be ugly if you say you're going to be lonely for the rest of your life then you are going to be lonely for the rest of your life if you keep on and say you will not start over you cannot start over then you will not start over and you will not be able to start over and you will not handle the journey of starting over you need to speak positive things over your life think think positive things for yourself then you will manifest good things in your life and you will attract good things in your life because there's so much better out there 
You understand? You can't sit down and you find excuses over and over again for the same person that the only thing that they're going to do is just to repeat the process. Just keep repeating what they have been doing over and over and over and over again. It doesn't matter whether you, they, they get you tattered, you're hurt, you're, you're damaged. It doesn't matter how far they drain you down to and crush you down to. And then at the end of the day, when they are finished damaging you, then they will move on with their life and continue. They, 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 sometimes they just, here is the trash, and they just take you, and then just dump you in the trash, and that's it. Gone and forgotten. And then take up somebody else clean, nice and spotless, and then gone. Live happy, happily ever after, after all them damage you. Let me tell you something. You see, if somebody keep on do you something, and you see, say, why? This is intentional. This is not out of no, this is not no mistake, car. This is not no, it is not no frigging ignorance in our mistake. Some of them are doing it for spite. Some of them do it because they don't care. They know say to hurt you, but they don't care. Because them don't love you. And them don't respect you. You understand? You see, if a man do you something, and him say, say you're a sissy or that, him a do or a woman, then I go eat the talk and say man alone because we, both genders do it. So, me I go, I love women, don't get me wrong. But you have to, you have to, and <laughs> yes, I love men too, but you have to speak for both sides. I know I'm not a man. You understand, but you have to, you have to be fair. You have to be fair. Anybody at all will come in your life and them consistently I repeat the same process. I hurt you, I hurt you, I hurt you. And you say to the man, sometimes you're not even have to say it. Once you see the person consistently I do it, then sweetheart, honey, it's time to go boo. Just pack your shit and leave. Because some of them believe, say, oh, she don't know no better or him don't know no better so they must stay with me until me feel for life and this not done until me say it done so me can do whatever I want to him or me can do whatever I want to do for she because she has to stay or him have to stay look me no make nobody have them no make nobody have them thoughts there for you you see as soon as you find out so they might use you or as soon because me not go just put up and say people are idiot because them still don't gonna go through this or still gonna go through that Sometimes people go through some things in their life and they do not know that that is what is happening to them. Trust me, I know. Because it's not everybody has a certain level of experience and not everybody easy to catch some, some things. Some people, do everything them talk about, oh, she an idiot, oh, am I idiot? No, it's not everybody grow up seeing certain things happening in their lives. And not everybody experience as much as, every, as some people. Some people experience some things, but everybody have their own mud puddle for pass through in their life. And everybody go through it in a feed them own way. You understand what I say? So you can't just get up and talk about a person just like that. I don't know what is happening to my light. I don't know what's happening to my light. But anyways, it's not going to stop me. So yeah, some people go through some things in their life and some people just get up and have it to say, oh, they're my idiot. But it's not, sorry, it's not like that. You understand? So, if you see somebody go through something, whether they are males, they, that person is a male or a female, if you, if you can help them, do not hesitate to help them because everybody needs a little nudge sometimes. You understand? Not because you don't need a help. That does not mean nobody else wants the help. Somebody is out there and they need the help. And if you see that person who needs the help, sometimes you see some people just come to you and just tell you their problems. It's not that they are too it on you. Sometimes they just not have nobody else to talk on. Sometimes, to be honest, they have suicidal thoughts. You understand what I'm saying? By the way, I don't want to keep it on, so I'm going to put, I'm going to make a second video about um after this one. So the next video for part two.